Hello and welcome to my video series of Mall Bio Explained in 3 minutes where I explain a concept of molecular biology in less than 3 minutes or so. So if you are new in this channel, hit that subscribe button. In this installment, we'll talk about gradient PCR which is a technique that allows an empirical determination of an optimal primer annealing temperature. So the goal of gradient PCR is to determine the optimal primer annealing temperature which would give a specific amplification and good yield. So, a range of temperature is used in the primer annealing step instead of one particular temperature. So, if you look, if you have a top view of the thermal cyclear plate, this is how the temperature varies. And I'll tell you that how exactly this is done. So, let's talk about how we set up the gradient PCR. In order to set up the gradient PCR, we just have to use the normal PCR mix, the template DNA the forward and reverse primer, DNTP, TAC polymerase, and the buffer. So everything is as simple as that and just like a normal PCR. But the difference lies in the PCR program and the way the thermal cycler is, pro cycler is programmed in terms of temperature. So for this example, the cycler would have a temperature range from 50 degrees centigrade to 60 5 degree centigrade with an increment of 2.5 degree centigrade, right? And this is how the thermal cycler would heat up in this particular step. So instead of one annealing temperature, we are using multiple different annealing temperature. Just to test at which particular temperature primer annealing is optimum and we get a proper amplification, which is specific. So a linear gradient is established with the help of a Peltier block which is inside the PCR machine and once you are done with the PCR and run your product in the agarose gel, you get the amplification as a function of temperature. And in this particular example, you can see at 62.3 degrees centigrade temperature, the amplification is more or less specific and with a very low primer dimer. So this particular temperature could be an optimal temperature for conducting this kind of PCR reaction. So overall gradient PCR is a standardization protocol for any kind of PCR. It is advisable that before you perform any PCR, you can perform a gradient PCR to understand the efficiency of the reaction and with and whether the amplicon is specific or not. So with that, I'll say goodbye to you guys. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.